Any questions? Uh, so please introduce yourself. <clears throat> okay, hi, my name is Chuling. I'm the CMO of Zendor. Thank you for having us. And you have lots of cool technology around here, right? Very um, relevant yes. and uh, in demand. Oh right? yeah, certainly. We're actually very proud to announce the uh, Superbase V is actually our new product, uh, this time at the IFA. Yes? So what is that? Well, take a look at here. So the Superbase V is actually the whole smart home energy storage, like storage ecosystem. And with this unit, it actually comes with the semi-solid state battery, which is the most advanced te um, battery technologies right now in the industry. And Endor is only one and the first one to introduce this te uh, technology into our market. And you have uh, a solid state. It's a semi-solid state battery technology. And with this technology, it's not only about the safety, but also it has a great, a great support of a capacity. Meaning that each unit over here has 6.4 kilowatt hour. And with our smart panels, that you could integrate two units at the same time. So this is actually comes as a module, like with uh, um, each unit carries out four batteries. So the whole ecosystem over here with a smart panel integrates two units and each unit has four batteries. So in together, we actually have 10 units all adding up. That gives us a great support of a capacity up to 64 kilowatt hours. Meaning that if there's actually an electricity blackout or like outage, it could really support you for a whole week. All right. Uh, each of them, how much capacity is one of these? So each of them has 6.4 kilowatt hour with the semi-solid state battery technology. And Zendor, we're also introducing another um, battery version, which is the LifePo. In that case, it has 4.6 kilowatt hour in each unit. Is that a lot? Oh, yeah. So uh, you could run your house on this? Oh, certainly, certainly, yes. Like I said, with this whole capacity, um, if there is an outage, then uh, it but even though it really depends on like, the actual consumption of our users, but uh, we have done our calculations that normally for a, like an independent like, household, we most likely will have like maximum 25 kilowatt hour consumption. So in this case, actually with our 64 kilowatt hour capacities to actually support us when there's emergencies for, for uh, up to a week. Up to a week? Yes. That's cool. And yeah. I, I see on the floor there's some uh, solar. Is that also your brand? Oh yes, right. Um, what you see over here is actually a 200 watt solar panel, but with the SBV, we actually comes with a 400 watt solar panel. Is this one? So with this, with the um, 400 watt solar panels, what we could actually deliver, which is the fastest recharging, is actually 3,000 watt input. Um, it looks to be easily to fold it up. Oh yes, yes. Actually, the whole design here is really about user experience. That's also what the door really cares about. So over here is actually all like foldable, and it's very easy to carry. You can see like the handles over here design. All right. Uh, can I buy four or five of these and put them on my house? Oh yeah. Was a bad bad idea. No, it's not a bad idea at all. Actually, right now we're having a solar panels at home. Just in case, if you don't have like a roof solar panels, that's actually a great idea. Um, how is the uh, power compared to roof solar panels? Uh, well, that Same? really, well, that really depends because this one comes with a 400 watt, but uh, with the roof solar panels, there are actually many other options, right? So it really depends on what is the the actual consumption. But you can connect several together. Mm, right. I mean, in this one, yes, you could actually combine with the as many as you want. If you have and a big yard, you can actually get it to like nine or ten panels. Yes. But they'll get broken if there's rain or s or snow. Uh. Well, yeah. This is not this is not like waterproof. Uh, so you do want to take care of these babies. You don't want to make them waterproof. Oh um, uh, well. All I think it's all like it, we're still working. Cool. Yeah. I just had a little drop. Oops, really dropped on the, on the internet. So, yeah, well, okay. Well, this one is actually, um, I really like the ID designs over here. You got like those wheels, you got these handles. It's easy to carry. And uh, all these AC, you know, outlets, 
really support all these functions you will need probably for your computer, your camera, or um, your cell phones, or your Bluetooth, even, I mean your speakers. All right. So this is actually designed for outdoor activities. But again, I think over here with our SVV, since it's a new product, then uh, we also support outdoor activities, like for RV users, for example. In that case, actually, the, um, the whole system supports that in the perfect way. Our satellite battery, meaning the battery itself actually independently works for RVs because we actually have an Anderson port over here on our battery. So for RV users, if there's a need, then solar panels and with one battery, that actually perf uh, uh, suits you perfectly. Um, and also for the EV users in this case, actually with the smart panels, we could charge two EV cars at the same time, both at level two charging. You can charge a Tesla? Oh yeah, yeah, right. Or only Chinese electric cars? No, <laughs> not only like, electro, like Chinese electronic cars. Actually over here we um, support um, all the standardized the electronic vehicles. So with the whole smart panels, as you can see over here, we also comes with the EV charger. But of course, you can use your own EV chargers. You know, if, as long as the uh, the adapter works. But anyways, you can find it easily. You know, to uh, to adapt to this. So with this whole EV charger, the cables, then you can actually as we showcase here. You can support the EV charging. And well, over here with our smart panels, you can charge two EV cars at the same time. So just in case if you have like more than one EV car, you don't really have to line up, right? And other than that, our main unit over here could also um, take the uh, could also charge which uh, recharge from the uh, public charging stations. Yeah. What's the price for all these different things? Very good questions. Well, um, right now we're going to launch the new baby, the SBV, on kick Kickstarter by end of this month. So we're actually making a great deal this year for our backers. Uh, what we're selling right now with a super early bird price and with some good, uh, very good deal of a coupon, we actually have this one like about something like a 3,000 US dollars. And for a life pole version that comes with a 4.6 kilowatt hours, it only costs less than 2,000 US dollars. Uh, are there many competitors in China doing this stuff? Or well, you are like uh, very special? Well, I would say I definitely see like there's definitely like a growing, like a growth in this market, right? There are more and more players are in this, you know, in this market. But I would say um, the door we're actually very confident of what we're doing. Uh, right now, with most of the technologies, we're actually the most industry leading, as I said, for a semi-solid state battery, because in this industry, that's what really matters, right? That's the heart of the, of the device. So we're actually the only one introduced the best, most advanced battery technology. And other than that, we are really considering for the, our user experiments. So in this case, uh, we have a built-in dual voltage. So actually for our, most of the users, we don't really think they need a extensional cables to sub switch and on and off. In this case, you know, for, let's say for our US uh, users, then we have like 120 volt as well as the 240 volt built-in in our unit. So that actually supports it perfectly. And other than that, our recharging hour is also quite fascinating because with this big capacity, we can actually recharge with AC outlets, with AC input as well as the solar input, all together up to 6.6 .6 kilowatt hour just in one hour. So that is actually also very fascinating. And how about the recharge cycles? It will recharge last for many years? Yeah, the life cycles. So just be, um, we just want to be very precise on this because we have done our re uh, test as well. So for the semi-solid battery, uh, for the semi-solid state battery versions, the life cycles is like uh, 3,000, uh, 3, and for a life pole version is about th uh, 6,000. All right, so it sounds like a lot. Oh yeah. And it sounds like it's better price than the Tesla Powerwall. Um, well, well, it's yeah. I mean, it's slightly different um, for the uh, um, Tesla Powerwall because they're actually stationary um, batteries, right? But in our case, it's actually portable. It's portable. So, and other than that, um, there is also like a difference because we understand right now the regulations, you know, and also time of use is also kind of like a headache for most of our users. So, just by taking that also into our considerations. For most of the gas or ge uh, fuel generators, let's say they will probably most likely have their inverters as well as a power inlet. In that case, our SPV could actually use as a plug and a play. 
device. It's like an appliance. So with one cable, you are ready to go. And uh, this is good for the RV market? Yes, yes. Actually, for the RV users, um, um, this is actually with our units as well as our batteries, with our solar panels, so the whole recharging time. So I think for the RV users, it's really about the time of the charge, the recharging as well as the frequency of the charging. So in that case, with our actually fast recharging um, technologies, it will really save a lot of time of our RV users. Cool. All right. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you very much for having us. It's uh, very exciting to see a solution coming with the uh, uh, batteries in the home. Well, yeah, I think and I think right now, you know, people are really concerned about the whole price of energy, right? And also, um, more than that, is really about the electricity bill. It's actually getting quite a you know crazy right now. It's really like a headache, and uh, I think what we're actually looking for is really about the independence of power. That's also something the door wants to to salute, I mean to support. You know, actually what what we are providing over here is to making sure that we help our users to have the availability as well as the accessibility of the energy whenever, I mean clean energy when and where they need it the most. So that's why we have the home backup whole system as well as the portable functionalities. And most of our products actually the design wise is actually very, very user friendly, meaning we have also the motorized wheels. Because those batteries with the baby, I have to be very frankly speaking, it's quite heavy. But again, with our ID designs, it really helps them to move it around quite easy. Cool. Awesome. All Thank right. you. And uh, uh, hopefully if there's uh, Germany or some other country places an order for five million pieces, you can make them? Oh yeah. I mean, um, as a matter of fact, uh, most of our backers might know that uh, at Kickstarter or any of the crowdfunding projects, sometimes you might wait a bit long, right, for the products to get delivered. Um, so at well, Lendora, we're actually very committed. We're definitely a serious player. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to actually have our SPV start our mass productions in October, meaning that for our first backers, as soon as they get that placed order, as soon as we close off the projects on our Kickstarter, they will be able to receive the products um, like in one month after the, uh, after the, the uh, close of the project. Cool. Awesome. Uh, Thank thanks you. A lot. And the, the background of the company, is there many years of uh, working in the industry? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, Zendora we established in uh, 2013. We started as uh, the mobile power, so like the power banks. We actually had uh, one of the very um, uh, niche uh, like power bank that was like very versatile. That's how we actually call it. Uh, we actually made a very great, I mean, we actually great, had a great success. You know, a lot of uh, people who are really a fan of the power banks know, probably know about Zendora. So I wouldn't say like we're new in this industry, but definitely right now uh, in the home power energy storage industry sectors, then we're a startup, right? So, um, but uh, again, I think Zendora, we know what we're doing and we just want to make sure we do the right thing and in the right way. Is there a lot of customers in China for this? Well, right now the different, I mean, it's quite different because in China, I think the scenario, the real life scenario is slightly different. Um, so right now I think for the US market, China, Japan market, and as well as European is the, is the most uh, wanted markets, yeah. Cool, all right.